Hello, everybody. Welcome to another video. This is Teacher Martinez RD, and we have a special guest or host. Uh, his name is Davy. Davy, Teacher Davy. How are you, Davy? Hi, Teacher Martinez. I'm very good. Thank you. How are you? Thank you I'm, for the invitation. I'm doing well, Davy. Guys, it's from Peru, right, Davy? Yeah, yeah, Teacher. That's right. Great. So we have a special lesson for all of you guys. Is the topic is about countables and uncountable nouns. So, so Davy, prepare a, a PowerPoint presentation for you guys. So, Davy, let's get started. <laughs> go ahead. Okay. <laughs> well, let's go. Uh, well, countables and uncountable nouns are something that might be very confusing for many many students, and I've seen that before. So I hope this can clear it to yourself. Let's okay. start. Okay. Let's start with accountable. All right. What is accountable thing? Here it says those are things that can be counted by one by one. Let's do an example. All right. Okay. For example, person. Can we count person? People? Uh, yes, we can. Yes. Say one person, two people, three people, four people. Yes. So here we have. One, pe one person, and then we have six different people. Let's mm -hmm. see another example. Motorcycle. Can we count motorcycles on their own? I think we do. One motorcycle and three motorcycles. All right? So yeah. Those are countable nouns. And now let's see the uncountable things. Yeah, and let me, tell, let, let me, excuse me, David, let me tell mm -hmm. that uh, talking about countable nouns yes. we have uh, uh it's important to know how to change the countable noun from uh, uh singular into plural yes uh, normally normally mm -hmm. and the normal way the simple way is to put mm -hmm. an s for example chair is a noun mm -hmm. and it's, it's countable because you can you can count chairs one chair, mm -hmm. two chairs. So yes. this this now, with just putting the S, you can change from singular mm -hmm. into plural. Mm -hmm. Chair, chairs. And you say about a uh, person and people. So mm -hmm. the the plural is is not just ending S in this case, because oh, yes. it, it's in so, irregular irregular now. Mm -hmm. So that change, for example person into people mm -hmm. it's like foot feet yes and that's Good. very that's Thank very you. yeah that's they have to notice that because that is very important so for the yes. students if you want mm -hmm. to master if you want to master this thing about countable and uncountable now you have to make sure to understand uh how to change a noun from singular into plural Yes, okay. that's a very important part. So, so some, let's, yes? Some words, yeah, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. the plural version is not just adding an S. The whole word changes to a different word. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So now it's different here with uncountable uh, things, uncountable nouns. Yes. Uh huh. Well, what so, we just saw were the countable nouns, count, things that can be counted on their own without the need of extra help, but these are going to be uncountable things and these things are called uncountable because they cannot be counted on their own for example we have water you can say can you say one water two waters three waters no i really don't think so no yeah no. there's just water a little it's a lot of water or a little amount of water but it's not such thing as one two or three waters let's do another example what is this? I know it was a little hard, but that is love. All right, love. feeling. Can you count one love, two love, three loves? Not either. Mm -hmm. So the uncountable things are things that you cannot really count on their own. All right, if someone says, teacher, but I can say one bottle of water, two bottles of water. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Then you're giving it a unit. So you're not counting water on its own, you're giving it a unit. One bottle of water, one liter of water, one gallon of water. So it needs a little bit of help. Let's do a short practice. 
a car. Countable or uncountable? Mm. Countable. Countable, yeah. Yeah, that one. That is sadness. Sadness is oh. a feeling. Countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable. Mm -hmm. Happiness? Uncountable too. Yes. Sugar. You have one, two, three sugars, or you have one kilogram of sugar, two kilograms of sugar. If you need to add an extra unit, that means it's uncountable. Uncountable. Mm -hmm. Dogs. Countable or uncountable? One, one dog, two, two, three dogs. dogs. Three dogs. Yes, countable. Countable. And that is, what is it? Countable or uncountable? That's a tricky question. Yeah, that Definitely. one. <laughs> mm -hmm. See, if you say water, just water, uncountable. But if you say bottles of water, those are countable because yeah. it's one count bottle of water and there are like 20 bottles of water on the other. You see? You can exactly. count the bottles of water, but not the water. Mm -hmm. You're right. So, mm -hmm, that brings us to our main point. The use of how many for countable and the use of how much for uncountable. Exactly. Let's do an example. A car is countable, so we can use with how many in a sentence like this. How many, how cars, many cars do you do have? You have? Mm -hmm. I, just, I just have three cars. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, I have, a, I, have a, I have two motorcycles. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. I like motorcycles. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have a pencil. One, two, three pencils. So it's countable. And we use the word how many. Yeah. How many pencils do you need? I need two pencils. You see? Yeah. And then let's see the uncountable ones. Oh, we have the, the simple one, the water. Mm -hmm. Water is not countable, so we use how much? how much. How much water do you have? A liter. Oh, I have a liter, mm -hmm. a gallon, a bottle, you choose. Yeah. And then we have sugar. How much sugar do you need? Uh, okay, so remember. Two spoon, two spoon sugar, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're giving it a unit, two spoons. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So remember, how much is for uncountable things, and how many is for countable things. And how do you know if something is countable or countable? You have to always ask the question: Can I count it on its own? If you can, it is countable. If you can't, it is uncountable. Exactly. Very, very, very good, teacher Davy. I have Thank a you, pic I, yeah. I have a picture here that I would like to share with you guys. Let me see if I can find it mm -hmm. uh let me share here can you he can you see the, the picture oh no no teacher okay let me see uh, uh new share let me see this what about now can you see it uh, hold on yes i can see it now okay now this is a list of uh, nouns that are uncountable. As you can see, we have water. You gave some mm -hmm. example about water. Mm -hmm. Okay, so rice, money, milk, and this bread. There is a problem with this word over here because here in our country, uh, bread is countable. Do you know yeah. that? Yes. Yeah, so yes. I, I run into the same problem with my students because you get pieces of bread, like one, two, three. Yeah. But I guess they said it uncountable because in the US, they usually get this big piece of bread and then exactly. they have to slice it. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly, you're right. You know, United States, the word bread is mm -hmm. uncountable, but some students here in America Latina, in the American Republic, you know, they say, why the word bread is uncomfortable because I'm going to the grocery store and I say, please give me three breads. You know, in Spanish, they say, por favor, mm -hmm. dame, dame tres panes. Cuántos, yeah. pa cuántos panes tú quieres? Eh, yo, mm -hmm. quiero, yo quiero cinco panes. Mm -hmm. But, you know, here uh, in English and uh, United States, uh, I, th mm -hmm. I guess in England too, the word bread is uncountable. 
Yeah. yeah well, so. I, I think a, a good way to clarify there will be that in the U.S., you get a slices of bread, so you're giving it an extra unit. You see, mm -hmm. whereas mm -hmm. here, one bread is just one unit; it's not connected to another bread. Exactly, you're right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so teacher David, thank you so much for being here with us in thank you this so much, video Sir lesson. Martinez. Yeah, I hope Gosh. to I hope to to have other videos with you to another yeah, me too. video Looking lesson. You know, to <laughs> this is very important, and I hope that our followers uh, they can enjoy this lesson. If you have any question, please send me a message or write down in the box uh, in the comments, you know, below. And everybody remember to visit my YouTube channel, Teacher Martinez RD. I don't know if you have a YouTube channel, David. Do you have a YouTube channel? Uh, no, not really. This is the first time I'm doing a video for YouTube. Okay, you maybe, maybe, maybe in the future you will have one YouTube <laughs> channel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but for now, please uh, subscribe to my channel, share with your friends, and thank you for watching. Thank you so yeah. much, Mr. David. Thank you, Teacher Martinez, and thank you, everyone. See you soon. Yeah, see you <laughs> Have soon. Have a good one. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, and meeting.